Hello folks and welcome to my new video. Today I'm planning to talk about batteries and more precisely about batteries capacity. Here I have several different brands of batteries. Duracell, Toshiba, Energizer, Panasonic, Philips, Varta and I even have a Tesla battery. Well, it's not Elon Musk's Tesla, but again, it has the same name. Also, I do have this smart battery charger dash discharger dash analyzer which I am planning to use and find out which one of these batteries is the best. Standard AAA alkaline battery like the Tesla here has a rated capacity of around 1000 milliamps per hour meaning that in perfect conditions this battery can be discharged with the current of 1000 milliamps in one hour. Of course, battery manufacturers measure the capacity of the batteries in a different way. They measure it over a period of 20 hours at room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. So, to get the rated capacity of 1000 milliamps per hour, you have to discharge this battery with 50 milliamps. 50 milliamps multiplied by 20 hours and you get the rated capacity, of course. You can discharge the battery with higher current. In this case, the discharge period will be shorter. My idea is to use the discharge function of this device and test all of these batteries and see which one of them will last longest. The device is set to discharge the batteries to 0.9 volts under that threshold the device automatically starts to charge the battery so i will be monitoring the process and when a battery reaches this threshold i will write down the discharge capacity it managed to provide after that i will compare all of the capacities of these batteries and declare the winner. Of course, I will be discharging the batteries with much higher current than the 50 milliamps. I will be using the highest possible value of the device. It's uh, 350 milliamps. So, let's begin. In my first test, I will be discharging Tesla Silver Plus Varta Long Life to Shiba Super Heavy Duty and Panasonic Zinc Carbon. I think the Toshiba is also Zinc Carbon. The Varta and the Tesla are all alkaline. So, let's power the device. Let's see the voltage of each one of them. It's quite similar. Turning off. Now let's power it again, this time I will select the discharge mode and the 350 milliamps discharge current. And now the discharge process has started. Here we can monitor the discharge current, the voltage drop of each one of them, the discharge capacity milliamps per hour, and the elapsed time. I will be monitoring the voltage and when some of the batteries reach the 0 0.9 volt threshold I will be removing them from the device. As you can see folks we are almost about to lose the Toshiba 27 minutes with a discharge capacity of 156 I'll wait a little bit until the device starts to charge it 
meaning that the voltage has dropped below 0 0.9 and yes we lost the Toshiba now we are left with only three batteries the Panasonic Zinc Carbon and the two alkaline Varta and Tesla and it seems that the next that will leave the race is going to be the Panasonic the Panasonic is almost drained we lost the Tesla battery also now it's charging we lost it around 625 milliamps per hour so i will be removing the tesla too and the winner here is the varta long life which is still discharging after one hour and 52 minutes after almost two hours and 20 minutes we are at the end of the discharge process for the varta long life which managed to surpass the other batteries and that's it my second test will be with Toshiba high power alkaline energizer Panasonic Pro Power and Philips Ultra Alkaline Let's power up the device and see the battery voltage. As you can see, it's quite similar. Powering off and powering on again, selecting discharge mode with discharge current of 350 milliamps and the process has started let's see the voltage drop as you can see this time the competition is quite equal it seems that Energizer will be the first battery to leave the race with about 660 milliamps per hour. And this was for the Energizer 670. In the last couple of minutes, the Philips Ultra Alkaline overtook the Toshiba. Let's see how much longer the Toshiba will last. And 700 milliamps per hour for the Toshiba battery. The Philips will definitely be in second position. And that's it for the Philips, 7 to 6 milliamps per hour, quite impressive. After nearly 2 hours and 15 minutes, the Panasonic Pro Power managed to provide almost 770 milliamps per hour. Seven seven one for the Panasonic Pro Power. 
So this is for this test. In my third test, I will be comparing Varta Long Life Power, Philips Premium Alkaline, Duracell Alkaline, and lastly Duracell Ultra with a power indicator. And let's power up the device and see the voltage. All similar. Powering up again and selecting the discharge mode. Selecting maximum current. 350 milliamps and now we'll wait and see after almost one hour and 40 minutes it seems that the standard alkaline Duracell battery will be the first to be completely discharged The capacity of the Duracell was 562 milliamps per hour. Despite of being marketed as one of the best batteries, the both Duracells, the Ultra and the Standard are going to end up in fourth and third positions. It's a quite equal competition with the Philips premium alkaline but it seems that the Duracell will be in third position with around 700 and maybe 15 milliamps per hour so let's see and yes the Duracell Ultra is in third position with 716 So far for the Philips Premium Alkaline, 730. After 2 hours and 25 minutes, the Varta Long Life Power is almost completely drained. It managed to provide 823 milliamps per hour and still counting. Eight hundred forty five forty four milliamps per hour for the Varta long life power, a remarkable result, surpassing, I think, maybe each one of the other batteries. In the end of the video, I will summarize the results and declare the overall winner.